So the time has come. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Carter Hour. And uh, what you see in front of you is, um, well, this is for my new server system and uh, NAS storage device. Um, <clears throat> so I figured I was going to break out some stuff and uh, build up a VMware server and uh, also build up uh, plenty of storage for hopefully the next couple of years anyways and uh, so I've, let me tell you about the Synology box um, these are pretty popular a lot of people have either viewed them or wanted to get one or have gotten one and a friend of mine actually uh, got the 1813 plus uh, which is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is, is this has got a little bit more beefier processor and it can take up to 6 gigs of memory, which I'm going to add to it today. Um, so I've always wanted one of these. I've been trying to cut down on the power usage. Uh, my power usage because of the HP DL380 Generation 4, that thing is sucking like uh, 700 watts of power constantly. So, um, what I'm planning on doing is uh, building up a really efficient uh, server system. And uh, I've got lots of hard drives, as you can see. I've got uh, some laptop drives here, which, because of the case that I have, takes more two and a half uh, drives than it does three and a quarter. These will be for the booting of the VMware. Plus, uh, some of my operating systems will go on these drives. These are actually uh, Velociraptor drives. Uh, they're 300 uh, gigs a piece. Uh, they're older drives, but I got them for steel. So, um, they're brand new, sealed, which is good. Got the Synology, which all those drives uh, that you just saw will go in this box here. Uh, this is the memory for the Synology. I wanted to get a power supply that's reliable. Uh, modular and also um, I wanted to get uh, something that was uh, at least gold certified something that's going to be very, very power efficient and uh, that's what I went with this and it was on sale all the stuff was on sale so um, down here I've got 32 gigs of memory which will max out this uh, super micro board <clears throat> so I'll have 32, or 32 gigs of uh, RAM and a, not a not a very power uh, full processor, but it's a 80 watt processor, which will save on electricity. And uh, with uh, everything that I'll be running, it won't be that intense. Uh, these four drives are also be for the storage of the operating systems on the VMware. These are a terabyte a piece. And then um, <coughs> I ended up finding some Seagates on sale. Now these aren't NAS rated Seagates. But you know what, to be quite honest with you, I've run these types of Seagates for a long time in my other NAS server. And it's ran fine for six years, 24-7, no problem. And we're talking about just regular desktop drives, no problems with them, uh, no data corruption, nothing. So I've got a, I guess, a, I guess you could call it just a bunch of disks in there, uh, a bunch of different RAID patterns and things. And then these four up here are actually uh, Western Digital Red Drives, so we'll put it to the challenge and put four of these in there and four of those and, and that Synology and we'll see what happens. I've got a fifth one just in case uh, I need to replace something uh, going uh, down the road. So let me show you what the rack looks like. So this is what the rack looks like right now. That's my uh, DL380 G4 or Generation 4. That thing likes the power a lot. Uh, up here I've got, um, I actually got this Cisco uh, PoE switch uh, last year and I just recently got this one. And then this is my new firewall, which uh, I still have neglected to post a video of the building of this. I won't be doing the building of my Synology and all that stuff. Um, I just kind of want to show you guys, it's not a building video. Um, this is my old NAS server over here. And um, so this thing also likes to eat the power. It's got 10 drives in there, which equals just 1.5 terabytes of space. Uh, but I've had that NAS server for about six years. And I've just been adding different types of disks in there. And then you guys have all seen this before. This is my tape drive. So all this stuff 
uh, except for the tape drive, and we'll still continue to use that. Um, all of this is going away. So, and then there's the cable modem right there. So, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this stuff is getting changed out for more power efficient um, platforms. And the only reason I'm going to a power efficient, it's not like I'm an environmentalist or anything, and I want to be green on the earth. It's that this is eating me out of house and home for electricity. So. And I can only run one server on this versus I can run eight or nine on that. So, set any extra switch. There's the firewall I built last year. The fiber switch is going to be going away soon. Tape drive used to be uh, sitting up. I moved the shelves around, so I didn't get that. But, well, the HP machine's missing. My uh, former Windows domain controller is a power. Nothing too fancy. Got a spare drive over there. But uh, I'm going to clean this up for the final showing. But this is what I've been working on for the last couple weeks. Um, I didn't realize how much files I had. And I had to move over from my NAS server to that Synology box up there. But uh, yeah, I got real serious on this thing. And as you can see, I've got my cables all wound up and looking good and the power cables will be the same way just just trying to finish up the migration portion of uh, everything so but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat now I'll go over the details of it here shortly so <clears throat> essentially well this is the power down for the NAS machine um, I've moved everything over that I can think of. I'm going to keep the machines on and open, or not on, but uh, available, so that if I forgot something, I can copy it over real quick. But I think we did a pretty thorough job of copying everything over uh, to where it needed to be or where it was reassigned. And uh, so it's time to say goodbye to the server. And I'll give you guys a look inside this real quick. Because I even forgot what it looked like inside and I built it. So, top's already loose on this thing. So this was my old NAS server. And originally it was built with a Sephron processor, but now it's got an AM, AMD Athlon X2 5600E 2900 or 2.9 gigahertz and lots of power and then um, there's one IDE drive which just runs the operating system that's all it does it does nothing else from there and then uh, I've got nine drives running in there and that gives me a whopping 1.5 terabytes and then uh, I've replaced this before actually you guys have probably seen my power supply burned up um, video I'll put a link to it. But the power supply that burned up came out of here. It actually burned up in this machine. So I replaced it with that. Um, I think it was a, it's a cool max. And uh, the max output <laughs> this is at 155 watts. You know, it's a 500 watt, well, maybe, maybe 400 watts. Yeah, 400 watts max, even though it's supposed to be a 500 watt power supply. They always down you about 50 to 100 watts. But this thing, uh, I replaced it uh, probably three years ago in this machine. And this thing has run 24 7 since I built it, other than doing a processor upgrade or replacing the uh, that power supply. I bought that motherboard in 09. It's a GeForce. 7050M by ECS. It's been a solid board. It's lasted. Doesn't seem like the caps or anything. And let me turn some light on. I don't know even if I can do it. Well, anyways, um, yeah, it doesn't look like any of the caps or anything look bad. Uh, but yeah, those are all the hard drives back there. I put a SATA expansion card in. 
rest of the ports are running off the DCS motherboard, and I believe only four available. Yeah. Four, four ports available. And then I got running the remainder ports off. Well, that doesn't add up either. I've got to be running. doesn't add up. We have four ports here. Four ports on this card. But nine SATA drives. Oh. That's why. Because there's a hard drive down there and that's uh it's not even being utilized. So I've got eight drives in here. I take that back. Eventually this case will either be repurposed to put this server in here so I can add more drives for data stores as, as we move up the virtual machine ladder. But for right now it's just going to hang around and not run. So. so out with the old and with the new as you can see, I got my fiber optic card in there. Put the fiber optic. And all the fiber optic is going away as well. It was fun while it lasted. But, uh, yeah. Total storage on this machine was 1.5 terabytes. We're not including the IDE drive. We're just including, I guess, the eight drives. Um, 1.5 terabytes of storage. Versus my new Synology box, which has... 15 terabytes of storage and it will use probably an eighth of the electricity that this thing uses. So I'm going to go ahead and power it down and maybe I can put you guys somewhere. And that is a wrap. All right. So there it is, shut down, come to its final resting place. Um, I'm sure I'll repurpose the hardware for something along the lines, maybe a computer for somebody else. Um, but I'm going to wait about a month or two before I start taking this thing apart so I know that uh, if I come dead in the water for something, and I'm able to uh, retrieve any files that I may need to get. So, but uh, so I just want to give you guys an update. I'm gonna roll this probably. It's probably all gonna be into one video, but everything now is up here on the Synology box. And you guys are probably wondering what Synology box do I have and there's the model numbers the DS1815 running the beta of the DSM which allows me to do share quotas um, 5.2 doesn't allow you to do share quotas so I'm, I'm kind of operating this box more in a corporate environment than a, a home environment so um, yeah but I'll go over everything else I'm just kind of giving everybody a view um, here's Here's a view inside the, uh, the server. There's the Velociraptors down there. Uh, there's an LSI 9260i 8 um, RAID card with a battery. And then there's four other drives on the other side that also connect to that RAID. And believe it or not, with 32 gigs and that being the lowest Xeon processor that you can get, this thing runs really well. And I'm running six six virtual machines on it it's for win server 2012s and uh, one's running exchange and the other one is running sql and but I, you know i'm not thrashing it it's you know only a couple of users are using it but it keeps me up to date on the technologies but thank you guys again for 
subscribing, watching my videos, and uh, look forward to posting more. See ya.